Hey, Saggy folks, how's it going? We are here to do yet another tarot scope for you. Um, this is going to be for, I'm shooting for roughly seven days from whenever you watch this. So if you are so inclined to click on it, even if it's, you know, not April, it was meant for you. And it's supposed to be from around seven days from whenever you watch this. So calling in guys, calling in angels, calling in anyone from the highest good for Sagittarius and Cross Watchers. What do we have for the week ahead, please? What do we have for Sagittarius, please? All right. Oh, balance. Um, I just heard the word revelation and also remembrance. Whoa. I just had another message, which I'll get to in a minute. And then we have the five of cups in reverse. So it's like, okay. Uh, how do I want to put this? It's like somewhere in somebody, they're like, oh, I don't need to be disappointed. But this, the message that I was getting before, and these are like two separate moments. This happens first. And what I was talking about is remembrance and revelation. I think that somebody suddenly, like, bam, remembers a past life. And I don't know why I'm saying that, but that is what I'm, like, intuitively channeled to say is that there is this moment where somebody remembers a past life, but it doesn't feel like they're like, you know, Oh, I was living in the Victorian era and blah, blah, blah. It doesn't feel like that. It's a, it's energy and it might be a, a person or like a place that you go to. And it's like a very deja vu experience. They walk in there like, Whoa, damn that person is my husband what and it's really but you're like a guy and they're a guy it's really strange and it's like that but it oh I heard the word absolute whoa that there's like um hold on slow down And that's, and that's what it feels like. Everything feels like, blah, 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 like all, all at once. There's like, bam, past life, bam. Oh my God. I don't have to be disappointed. Oh my God. There, this is, this is balance. I remember, I receive, I, I accept bam, 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 bam. And then again, I'm like, oh, everyone's watching. Uh, I don't know what that means. Who do we have coming out for Saggy this week? I just suddenly got freaked out. Like, <gasps> everyone's watching. Okay. Who do we have coming out for Saggy this week? Ooh, we see discovery of self. This is Las Guna. This is like the spiritual and the 3D mixed, right? Because she is a creature of the, um, which the native shamans or neo shamans, whatever you want to call them, they would consider from the middle earth, right? So in the realm of fairies and little pixies and things that live in our space, but not in our space, right? So she's on real earth. She's on 3D. She's on the ground, but she's spirit. It's like spirit manifest into earth. But that's the self, right? Is that not who we all are? That's this. This is remembrance. This is, oh my God, bam, jump because she's got frog legs, right? I would, I'd be jumping all day long. I'd be reaching for everything. 
but this is what I'm saying. This happens like in an instant. And there's like a somebody jumps. And then what happens is we somebody is like slinking away. All mad like. Like he's got a shitty shitty expression on his face, right? I heard, what about me? What about me? And they're like slinking away. But this is attached to this. And it's like, I don't want to be rude. Cross watcher, this part is you. But it's like, what about you? You know, what about me? What about you? Like this, you... There, there is a portion of this person's life that they're waking up to. And part of the realization is that the situation that they're in makes them feel disappointed. And the feline comes in and part of it is I'm seeing someone slinking away saying, you know, what about me? But the other thing is that this is the energy of like, wrapping that up, you know, and it's like this moment leads to this moment where we're like, oh shit, you know, I got to deal with this now because they're watching. There's something about people watching or someone watching or someone seeing and it being like an accident or something like that. But, um, this very, very profound spirit into earth moment that someone leaps into triggers this, which is I need to finish this. I need to finish up everything. I need to, I need to deal with this and this and this and this and this and this. It's like, bam, okay, this, it's on. And then bam, I have a billion other things that I need to take care of before this can even happen. But I think that's okay. I mean, not everything needs to happen overnight. Mm. And there we have the soul shrinker. This is, I told you, people are watching because that's gossip. And then we have the faff the footer who I think this combination of people, Fat the Footers, about being real, about stuff, being a realist, being really 3D about things, you know, it's all earth. He's very, very much on the ground. And then you have the soul shrinker, which is people talking smack, basically. I think they may ruin the moment, or I don't want to say ruin the moment, but I think that they may bring anxiety to what could have been something really sweet. But I heard that's what you should expect. So maybe the person who's having the realization is someone who is in the public eye, right? I always notice this one big eye. It's like if you're in the public eye, they see you. And it's almost like a zzz. Like Oops. <laughs> Oops. Moment. And then the people see, and then all of a sudden it's like, all right, look, we had this happened, but this other, this we halt because it can't be done like this before this is taken care of. And it's like, it's very sweet. And this is the stag, right? And this girl, if this is the masculine and this is the feminine, she's smitten. She's like got her eyes closed, like leaning in, like kiss me. Just kiss me right here. I don't even care. And he's all, whoa, you know. Wants to, but. It's very yin-yang. Very dreamy, very earthy. 
I like that. I had a different message, but I lost it. Um, oh, this stag masculine type, the person who has a realization, <clears throat> I think they have a second realization when they see when the public gets involved and they become very protective, perhaps, of this dreamy person here. Like, smitten, just stupid dreamy, like, tra-la-la, <laughs> whatever. And this is almost like a, an, an order or like a direction or like, this needs to be taken care of. We cannot move forward until this is taken care of and that's kind of the way it is. And she's like, whatever, kiss me. <laughs> And he does, you know, it, this is, so it's, it's very, um, like Henry VIII and the last one of his wives, Catherine, who's just a kid. So there might be a big age difference here. That might be something because I just thought of that, but she's, his last wife was very, she swirled around. She was, she would just, she was just smitten. And she danced and played, and he was doing king stuff. But they, he loved her very much. But she was just, I don't want to say she was clueless, but she was just drunk in love, right? I love that, Beyonce, drunk in love. And she's just swirling. She doesn't even care. Just kiss me. That's I just want to just kiss me. I love it. So I want to know what happens with this gossip. I want to know what they say, to be honest with you, because I'm a nosy Nelly. And I want to know what it is that needs to be tidied up here for Sag and or their partner. And then I'm going to pull energies on both of the parties to see where they're at and where they're going. Then I'm going to pull a couple of cards, I think, to see what's going to happen after this week, because this wasn't, this is just like a moment, it seems like for some people. And then I'm going to pull a timing card to see when you can expect it to happen, okay? So if you want to follow me to the extended, the link for that is in the box below. Um, I appreciate you guys so much. I love doing this. And um, yeah, I'll see you next week, Sag. Have a good one.